Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add Buy Now button on the Shopify product page. Before we start, hurry up and check out our data software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, for us to add a Buy Now button on our Shopify page, we need to actually install an app for this one. Let's go and click on settings at the bottom left. Wanna go to apps and sales channel and click on Shopify app store at the top right. Now, from here, what we need to do is we need to actually search for the following, which is going to be buy, just press and enter. You should be able to see the buy button channel. Let's go ahead and click on this one. Let's go ahead and click on install. Now, don't worry, this app is free, so you don't, you don't need to pay for anything. So in this case, let's go and click on install again. And then once it's actually installed, we should be able to start using the actual app. Now, the great thing about this app is it actually allows you to create a buy button. Let's go and click on buy now or buy uh, create buy button. And from here, we could either create, create a buy button for a product or for a collection. So for now, let's go and click on product buy button. Now from here, maybe you want to create a buy now button for the following item. So let's go and click on select. Now from here, you can change the buy button here. So in this case, we have the basic, we have the classic, you have the full view here. So depending on what type of buy button you want to create. So in this case, we have the action when people click. So whenever the uh, buy button is click, what does it actually do? Does it add the product to cart, direct to checkout, open product details? So in this case, you go and check or use whatever option here they want. So for example, I just want to say uh, I want to direct to the checkout here. Now, the layout is going to be basic. Again, you can change this if you want to, but I'm going to change it to classic. Now, the buy button style here, you can change the color itself, the button text, the button width. So for example, we want to make this a lot longer. Button corners, if you want to, I'll make it rounder here. And in this case, I want to make this or uh, make it blue, maybe. Now, in this case, you could go and change the, bu the button text as well, the size if you want to, but I'm going to keep this as is. Let's go and uh, go back. We also have the layout here, which allows you to change the product title, the pricing, so the actual details of that product. So you could go and make your changes here. Now, we also have the shopping cart here if you want to uh, change it. Like, for example, on the right panel, this is what the shopping cart will look like. If you want to update that, the background color, the body text, if you want to. Now, you also have the advanced settings, which allows you to either redirect to in the same tab or open pop-up window. So whenever uh, your checkout actually appears here. So I'm going to uh, keep this as in default, so the open pop-up window. Once you're done, click on next at the top right. And you want to go ahead and just click on copy code here. Now, in this case, once you have your copy code, you could go ahead and uh, paste this in your other website, like for example, in Wix and uh, Squarespace or even WordPress if you have that website. Now, you need to access the actual files for it if you want to really integrate it. So just to give you an example, I'm going to create a new page here. So let's just copy, click on copy code here, click on exit, and we want to go to online store, go to pages. And I want to create a dedicated a dedicated page for this. So like for example, you want to publish an article for it. Let's go and click on add page at the top right. And let's just say there's going to be a advertisement for a product. Now from here, what you need to do is we need to switch over to show HTML instead. Paste our code here. And once you've pasted that, you can go ahead and show editor again. And it should show you what it's going to look like. But again, it's not going to show it immediately. So in this case, you could go ahead and uh, save this one. So for now, let's go and click on save. It should now be saved. So you could go and click on view page. Now, as you can see, we now have the buy button in here. So yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.